Before we can even start editing our photos, we have to deal with color management. Now, what is color management? It's making sure that our monitor is giving us correct colors. So our whites are white, our blacks are black, helping us ensure that all the colors in between are accurate. No one wants to spend all of this time working on an image only to find out that what they thought was white whites actually looks really yellow everywhere else. So on KDE Plasma, which is the desktop environment that I choose, I can manage my color profiles. So each one here has one that came with the system as well as a custom profile that I have created for each and every monitor. Now in here, you can do some basic calibrations inside of system settings. But there's another piece of software that I prefer to use for this. This is an amazing piece of software, but it's not a standalone. You need hardware to go with it. I will put links to some of that hardware down in the video description. There are two major brands that you find, which is Datacolor and their Spider Line and X-Rite. And they have a few different names in their product line, but a very popular one is the Color Monkey. You can start out with older pieces of the hardware. My, I started out with the Spider 3. The current generation is the Spider 5. What's the difference between the different generations? Well, like other hardware, they get better at reading the color that's being displayed on the screen, and they also get faster at reading that. With the settings that I'm going to show you, it took me about two and a half hours to go from here to completely profiled display. With the Color Monkey, which is their newest generation, that I have from x -Rite, it now takes me an hour per screen. Huge difference. And when you're working with four monitors, that's massively important. When I got the Spider 3 though, part of it was just cost savings. I needed accurate color. I needed hardware to help me get accurate color. And I had a budget that I was really working in. So the Spider 3 worked great. So this is showing the screen that I'm on. And then I always have this correction set to auto, move to calibration, and these are the settings that I typically set up for that. I want my white point set to 6500 Kelvin, my white balance level is at 120, and I use the gamma 2.2 curve with a calibration speed of medium. Profiling. Now in this section, this is where you get into the nitty gritty of how long it's going to take and how accurate that profile is going to be. So I keep my profile quality set to high, my test chart set to optimize, and then in the beginning, so I've changed this, but this is where you start on the total amount of patches. I like to crank that up to the 833. So each time I calibrate, so my hardware device is creating a better overall algorithm, making sure that the color I'm seeing from my screen is the best that it can be. Now I could set this higher. We can go up to 11,140 patches. This also cranks up our overall time tremendously. I don't have any problems keeping it right there. 
From here, we'd go ahead and click calibrate. Your device would go here, start measurements, and then you would do some tweaking. So on your monitor, you would adjust some of the basic white balance on it, adjust some of the brightness of your screen before the hardware device starts creating that customized profile that I showed you in the settings before. I like to do this about every month or so. It's just as the computer screen is being used and the differences over time, colors will slightly change. And so if I'm doing it regularly, it means that I am more likely seeing the best color possible when I'm editing my images. So if you would like to get a little more serious about your photography, why don't you take a look at DisplayCal?